We may be physically away from one another, but I know that we are one in spirit in hearing the word of God. How are you today? How are you the past week? Maybe most of us, we have been working from home. We have, we have been staying at home. We quarantined ourselves. We isolate ourselves to, to stop the spread of the virus. But if you're not working at home, if you still go to the office, I hope you are doing the necessary precaution. We need to be responsible about this and stop the spread of the virus, flatten the curve. If you have nothing important to do outside, stay at home. It's for your own good and it's for the good of others. For most of us, it's no fun staying at home, but I discovered that there are a lot of things to do at home. And there are a lot of things to entertain myself. I've been counting tiles, I've been cleaning the house, I've been putting things in order, and the best is that it gave me time to be with my kids, to be with my family, for us to bond together. For some of you who are alone, it's difficult, it's boring, staying at home, all alone by yourself. I have a word of encouragement for you. Let's use the word isolation. I have an acronym for it. When you're alone, ignite your spirit with the Spirit of God in the solitude of His presence, offering prayers and sacrifices. Pray for the health workers. Pray for the doctors, the nurses, because they are taking the brunt of this pandemic. In all things, in this situation, in these circumstances, learn the wisdom of God. Appreciate the time of fellowship and bonding with God and with family. Trust that all this will soon come to pass. Imbibe God's grace in your life. Open yourself to the possibilities and the opportunities it may bring. And finally, nestle in God's promises.